<laughs> Not a film, buddy. <laughs> Ralph wants to clearly be involved today. Good boy. I'm actually not, he's not like sat on my lap for ages when I've been sat filming here. And I'm really not mad that he wants to do it today because honestly, I am so cold. I just can't warm up today. Um, I've got a cup of tea here, which I'm just gonna hold <laughs> to keep my hands warm because it's honestly, yeah, I just, it is a lovely blue sky today. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just cold really really flipping cold so anyway welcome back to another video um i hope you're i hope you're all doing well and had a lovely week it is friday today for me um and yeah i have a nasty gal haul for you so i found some great pieces i did quite a big order to the point where i had three big bags and i was like what the hell have i ordered like i completely forgot what I'd actually ordered and I've just opened it all up and yeah I'm so happy with the pieces that I've got so yeah super excited to share those with you um just to note as well this video is kindly sponsored by Nasty Girl which is amazing I'm so thankful to be working with brands that I love um so yeah I'm not gonna blabber on for too long because I'm sure you're all just wanting to see the items so let's crack on with the video so the first item that I am just obsessed with is this kind of like long line aviator jacket so I do have my one from Zara which is a cropped version and this is kind of like a longer version which I absolutely love so I'm really enjoying kind of like the contrast brown so it's got like a darker brown overall and then like a lighter brown throughout I think this looks really really expensive and it kind of reminds me of like the Acne Studios one. The shearling is super, super soft. Um, I did get this one in a size 10 because I wanted it to be oversized. Um, I've not actually tried any of this on yet, but you'll obviously see it in the cutaways. And yeah, I just thought this was really, really nice. So I'll try and show you a little bit here. So it's got the brown pockets there. And then it's also got kind of like the fake belt detail detailing on the side, which I love because I had a all black one from zara a few years ago now and it has an actual belt and it would just always fall out every time like i'd walk because you wouldn't actually do it up if that makes sense um it's got the two little buckles on the side there and obviously the zip goes all the way down um i just think this is absolutely gorgeous like i think this because they're quite warm you can just style it with like a kind of like a rib top like i'm wearing now leather trousers and boots and it's just a really effortless kind of like cozy outfit and is definitely needed for this weather right now because it is super cold so yeah like i said i'd probably pair with this type of like a cream or like a neutral knit underneath leather trousers chunky boots and then maybe a beanie for all of the extra warmth i feel like this would be a like a really really nice christmas market outfit um so yeah absolutely love that i also picked up this knitted loungewear set because you've seen in my other videos and like i said before i even started this video i am just so cold at the moment and i need some like really cozy nice loungewear pieces so i picked up this gray one so the top is kind of like a high neck jumper which may i add would be really really nice to kind of wear on its own as well um, this does come as a set as well. You don't buy them separately. Um, so yeah, this is the knitted jumper and wide leg lounge set in grey and I got it in a size small. So the jumper has this gorgeous um, high neck, which I think is perfect because it's not one of those ones that's kind of like too chunky and getting all up in your face. And then it's just got the sleeves with the contrast cuff. And then it's just in like a long line fit there so yeah this would also be really really nice with like leather trousers as well and then the bottoms are just a wide leg loungewear pant also in a small these do look quite big yeah they are a small so yeah i've like i said i've not tried these on yet but i'll obviously try them on after this video um so these have the extra these are like a really thick waistband and then there's obviously the same knit as the jumper and then as you can see they're quite wide leg at the bottom um so just a note as well if you sometimes find like me um sometimes like knitted materials can be quite oversized then i always just roll them up one and then they just feel like they fit a lot nicer on the waist and because you're wearing like an oversized jumper with it you're obviously not going to see the fact that you've turned them up um this would also look so i would obviously just be wearing this probably at home but it would look also really really nice with like white trainers and like a cream scarf over your shoulders i think that would look really gorgeous and 
I'm just looking down at what I've got and a lot of it's very grey. I think I was having a bit of a grey moment when I ordered these pieces. Sticking with loungewear sets. So I've been after a like grey jogger set for quite a while now and I've never found like the right colour grey or the right kind of style. Although a grey jogger set is a grey jogger set and I feel like a lot of places do them, not many places get the fit right. So I have ordered a lot and sent back a lot so I'm hoping this is the one and feeling it I feel like it's going to be because I've ordered quite a lot of grey joggers from different places and they've been really like a rigid jogger material which is really strange. Um, so I got this set from Nasty Girl. Again this is like a set so you don't need to buy it separately. Um, so this is the Af Let Is Me circle hoodie and jogger set gray mal and i got this in a small i do find with nasty gal so things like this they are already oversized so i don't tend to size up um because looking at this hoodie this is a size small and yeah that will be the perfect like oversize for me um so yeah this is like the perfect kind of like is it heather gray that they call this it's like not light gray but it's like a in between a light and a dark grey which is what I like and then I really liked just the logo detail on there and like I said it's just a really like lightweight hoodie but it's also going to be like really warm because it's got the fleece lining um and like I said some hoodies and stuff they're like got so much structure that it don't really fall properly so I have high hopes for this one um so yeah the, the it's obviously got the drawstring on the hood there um and then I like also that it's got skinny arms because that's great for wearing like layering and wearing a coat over the top and then it's obviously got the contrast band on the bottom and then the joggers again um just got the waistband they have the draw hidden drawstring inside so you can tighten that up which is also great because i like to have the leg part of the joggers a bit more oversized but then i can cinch it in a lot at the waist and then it has the cuffs at the bottom. Um, so the reason why I got this was to go with a coat, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna wear, I'll show you it now actually. So the aim for that outfit was to wear with this dark gray coat and chunky boots. That was the vibe that I was going for. Oh, some paper on there. So this is the wool look DB coat. And again, I got this one in a 10 to be oversized, especially because I knew that I wanted to fit like jogger sets and stuff underneath. This feels like a really luxurious coat. It's like really, really thick, proper structured, which I really like. And it is really long. I don't know if you can see how long that is. So yeah, this is that outfit that I had in mind. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try that. It's got the double breasted buttons here. It also has, I thought it had pockets, oh yeah there, has the pockets either side and it's also got the pocket detail on the front there. So this is really similar shape to my black Zara coat, which I absolutely love and wear all the time. So it's quite nice to have a similar one to that in like a darker grey. Um, it's also got the button detail on the sleeve and then it has the split at the back as well. So I feel like that's going to be a lot easier to see how it fits in the cutaways. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. I'm going to show you the last grey item because there's so much grey. Um, but this next one is a jumper dress. So I really wanted a grey jumper dress to wear with an oversized black blazer, tights and boots. That was the kind of look that I was going for. This one is the puff sleeve roll neck sweater dress in a size small and yeah so it's got the roll neck here as you can see and then it just goes into like a normal long line jumper dress I really love on jumper dresses this is such a weird thing to like but I really love the contrast hems on them and if they don't have this then I never usually buy them I just don't know what it is with these but I just yeah I really enjoy the contrast knit on the hem and then it goes into kind of like a balloon sleeve, which again, I feel like this is really good for layering underneath blazers because it's not a really big baggy sleeve. And then it's just got like the elongated cuff as well. This feels really, really soft. Um, so I think this is going to be really nice and warm. And like I said, I'm just going to pair that with an oversized black blazer, tights and boots. Or you could also do tights and loafers. Okay, something that's not grey but I've been really enjoying like thin knits like this top here because I find them really easy to layer and just really comfortable underneath like blazers or jumpers and things like that so I picked up this cream one and this is the petite recycled button detail jumper in ivory and I also got this one in a size 10 now I cannot tell you how soft this is this feels absolutely gorgeous um so it's kind of a normal jumper style and then it has these gorgeous gold buttons 
on the sleeve there and I just thought this would be really nice as something a little bit smarter like underneath blazers so I probably maybe wear this with like a black blazer with some gold jewellery, black leather trousers and boots. Um, this would also go really nicely underneath the aviator jacket that I showed you earlier. Um, they're just a really nice handy kind of layering piece to have and also if you're now going to be working from home again um, I feel like these are great because they look really smart and they're cosy so to kind of wear if you're working in an office but also working from home as well I think these are really really nice little staple pieces. Finally I picked up a little more of a dressy outfit something that I was thinking of potentially maybe wearing around the festive period if I needed like a bit more of a dressier outfit so the first item i picked up was this mini skirt now i loved the detailing on the leg there with the rings and it's in like a textured black which i think is great because for me sometimes like my biggest part of my body is my bum so i feel like sometimes when something is not like a textured material and it's it kind of like shows all the lumps and bumps and it's not that flattering on me whereas this with the texture i feel like this will look really really nice i got this one in a 10 now i'm usually an eight on the bottoms but i just find with mini skirts that i would prefer to size up so it's not too tight around my thighs um so yeah i'm intrigued to see how this one fits i'm hoping it's not going to be too big but i really really like the shape of that and the detailing of that one as well and then to go with that i picked up a black satin shirt um so yeah i'm gonna pair this i got this one in a six because it did say it was oversized and i'm not gonna lie to you it is very big um it feels really really nice and soft this one is called the oversized satin co-order shirt um so i'm going to tuck this in to the black skirt and wear that with heels you could also wear this tucked in to um what am i trying to say tucked into like jeans or leather trousers and because this is an oversized long line shirt you could actually wear this as like a shirt dress with maybe like a diamante belt around the waist i also feel like that would be really really nice but this feels like really thick good quality like satin material um so yeah i'm excited to try that one on but finally we've got a couple of pairs of shoes so first up i picked up these gorgeous diamante heels i just thought these were really like effortless and really understated but also would look just really nice with an outfit i've got black ones similar to this but yeah i think the nude is great to wear with white outfits i think i've mentioned before in a video that i think i've got a white theme for new year's eve so these were going to be my shoe for new year's eve i think they'll go great with a white outfit rather than the black and i just loved the kind of like effortless diamantes on them as well um for me personally this heel was like the perfect size for me anything bigger and i just would not be able to walk in it so yeah i absolutely love those but finally i picked up another pair of boots now i have a lot of like chunky oversized kind of like everyday boots but i just didn't have anything with a heel and these kind of caught my eye i thought these would be really nice with like leggings tucked into them just for like something a little bit smarter the heel's not too high either and i just yeah just a normal kind of like chelsea boot with a heel basically and yeah i just thought these would be quite nice if i'm going for like a meal and i don't want to wear heels but i want to have like a bit of height and not wear a chunky boot i just thought these would be a little bit smarter i did get these in a six i'm in between a five and a six but i tend to size up in boots and that is all of the items guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below as always all of the outfit links will be down below in the description box i shall see you all in the next video Bye.